Sketch the solid whose volume is given. Recall that in order to determine the volume of a solid, we can use a triple integral over that solid domain region with the integrand of positive 1 dv. In spherical coordinates, all of this together makes up the value dv, and so we can focus on those limits of integration in order to determine the solid that we're looking for. So our values for rho are going to go from 1 to 2, the values of phi are going to go from pi over 2 to pi, and the values of theta are going to go from 0 to 2 pi. So let's recall that the formula rho is equal to 1 and rho is equal to 2 will graph to give us spheres in three-dimensional space. Rho is equal to 1 is a sphere of radius 1, and rho is equal to 2 is a sphere of radius 2. So before we start to clean this up a little bit, let's first take a look at the values of phi that are going to go from pi over 2 to pi. Remember, phi is measured from the positive z-axis down, and when we get to the value pi over 2, that means we are at the xy plane. So we really just want the portion of these spheres that are from pi over 2 to pi, which means the lower hemisphere. So let's try to remove some of these pieces that are not part of our volume to try and clean up our image here. And when we take into consideration that theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, remember theta is measured from the positive x-axis moving around in this counterclockwise direction means that we get the entire hemispheres all the way around. Let's return to our row criteria. Remember, row goes from 1 to row is equal to 2, which means that we get all the row values in between these two outer hemispheres, which means that we're getting this thick outer shell here with negative space on the inside of our bowl. And again, this is the outer shell of our row is equal to 2 sphere. And so this is the solid whose volume is determined by this triple integral. 